In this video series, I show how to create and score exam or quiz answers sheets using paper score. These are bubble fill sheets akin to the old Scantron system. Paper score has many options you can explore, but in this series, I'm showing the simplest ways to get started using it for in-class bubble fill assessments. In this video, I show how to set up your class and students in paper score in preparation for developing answer sheets. In other videos, I show how to create answer sheets for quizzes and exams and upload those post-assessment to have paper score grade your students' work. Let's get started. I'm logged into my paper score account now. I'll start by creating a class, and then I'll upload and add students to that class. I have a class here already, so this is what it would look like after it's created. But let's add a second class. In the upper right, there's an Add Class button. I'll click that. It's going to give me a couple of options, and the one we want is Create a Local Class. So I'll make sure that's highlighted, click it, and I'll name the class And if I want, I could actually put the section letter here instead. Then click Save, and here we go. Now, I want to add students, and there's a couple of ways to do this. The most efficient is to click the three vertical dots on the far right of this row in the Classes screen in the row of the class to which I want to add students. I'll click Import Students from the resulting drop-down menu. On this dialog box, Paper Score is showing me how it wants the students arranged, what kind of information I need in a .csv file, comma-separated variable file. We usually look at .csv files and work with them in Microsoft Excel. I can download a sample CSV which already has the proper column headers installed. I'm going to go ahead and do that using the link that's under the Choose File button in this dialog box. It says you can download a sample CSV. This is often the best way to do this because it shows me or gives me exactly the column headers I need. So I don't have to enter anything in and risk some sort of data entry error. Let's go ahead and open that file. And Microsoft Excel opens it up, and it may give you a warning that says something like, do you want to convert this to .xlsx? Tell it no. Let's keep it .csv, and I can also get rid of this warning. I don't need it. So their sample file is populated with faux students. We don't need this data. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. But these headers are important. Let's say I don't want to upload student emails, and I don't need to. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this column as well. But these are what I need. But I have to populate my student names. The most efficient way to do that is to go into D2L. So I'm going to go to my class grades tool or gradebook in D2L. And here, under the Enter Grades tab, there is a gray export button. If I click it, I get the option to export my gradebook in .csv format. Fantastic. I don't need the grade data, though. I only need a list of my students. I'll check the boxes for last name and first name. I don't need email, but I could leave it either way. Now I'll click Export to CSV. D12 will process the CSV. Once it's done, I can click the blue Download button, and I can save it to my hard drive. Once it's there, I can open it up in Excel, and here it is. This is the data I need, last name and first name. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to add it to the sample file that I got from Paper Scorer. So I'm going to copy the last name column and my faux students here from a 
test D12 class or demo D12 class are actually useful because it demonstrates that paper score can handle students with the same last name. Okay, so my students are here. Paper score needs one more bit of information for each student. It needs an identifier number. This is very simple to do. I can add this in Microsoft Excel, and it can be any number up to, I think, eight digits, but we don't even need eight digits. So what I'm going to do is put in a number, one. I'll add a second number two, and then I can drag down the column using the fill feature in Excel. It's adding a two, but I can uh, click on the little icon for the fill tool and choose fill series. And then it's going to add three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. Now in this example, I only have three students, but let's say I had 40 students. I could use Microsoft Excel's fill tool to very, very quickly create the identifier numbers. Okay, this is ready to go. What I'm going to do, though, is save this. Click Save As. And I'm going to save it as a readily identifiable file name. Okay, so I'm finished in Microsoft Excel. Now, I'm going to go back to Paper Scorer. And here, I'm going to upload the file that I created using data from D2L, but using the column headers as specified by Paper Scorer, so Paper Scorer can read that data. Click Choose File. There we go, there's the file. Click Open. I see that the file is listed here. On my way to the Import button, I'm just going to check this dropdown and make sure this is the correct class to upload these files the students to. It is. Now I'll click the blue Import button. Now this is a little tricky. It's giving you a confirmation screen. Do not navigate away from this screen because you want to make sure that it does complete the upload. Everything looks good, so I go up to the Confirm Import button in the upper right of this screen, click it. Now the files are uploaded. I can quickly identify that they are, each of these students is enrolled in at least one class. If I click on that, it tells me it's the correct class. Okay. So now my students are uploaded in a class that corresponds to a real class I'm teaching and also that has a space in D2L. In the next video, I'll show you how to start creating answer sheets for quizzes and exams.